Good morning, sunny Scotland. Yeah, again, absolutely nailed down. Not to worry. Alex, we're gonna get a nice clean. Oh yeah. I followed out the Arctic Seven. I'm not happy with her. She seems to be a bit of a temperamental little biatch today, so. Well, it's not actually been today, it's been the past couple of weeks. I've been trying to figure out a triggering problem with the uh, um, ECU. Uh, my cast sensors weren't quite. Well. The cast sensors are working, but the ECU is not seeing a correct voltage, which isn't giving me an RPM signal, which won't give me fuel or spark. So. It's basically turned down to um, the ECU is basically giving a false value, um, which isn't a problem. I'm sure the guys at Adoptronic will f fix that. It's just a little niggling problem. Uh, so they'll be sending out another ECU to me, which is awesome because most companies wouldn't do that. Uh, and I'll chuck that in and hopefully she should go fine. Other, everything else checks out fine. But anyway, I'd like to show you my new little toy. Oh yeah, we have here the Lawn Flight MTD Model 504, 8 horsepower of pure power. Right, we need these massive wheels in the back, yeah they're stretched, they're stanced, see them stanced wheels. They're actually, you know, the camera will be putting it off slightly but they're about 12 inches wide just to put down the power. Um, you know, we can't put down the power on such a powerful beast. However, we have got a little toy that we can put on it. I'm not sure if I will because I'll need to buy a hot side. And a hot side is about 100 quid. Or, we put the Borg on her. So, TDO4 or Borg. Do we have her right off the front? They're boosting like some sort of spooling machine. Let's be honest, it's probably not going to turn that turbo. So I'm going to go for a TDO4 turbo, Scooby Turbo, or Subaru Impreza Turbo. Pretty common, picking up for about £100. I have all the oil lines, everything working as it should. Blow through carb, pressurise the float uh, chamber, and we should get some mad boost. <laughs> now, I've been trying to start this, but it won't actually drive because this belt's kind of snapped. However, she won't start off that either. But, oh yes, oh yes, you know what time it is. So, we this battery in here is a little bike battery which is just going to be no use at all. So we'll need to get like a, I don't know, tractor battery on it because you know, let's face it, we don't do anything by half here. On ignition, bit of choke, get a wee bit of thrall. Oh. Oh yes. Oh. Get some thrall. Yes! It's alive! It's alive! Woohoo! Oh yeah, she's got a lumpy idle due to that high lift cam. Um, you know, she barely idles, too much performance. Just need to give it a little bit of... Oh! She cut out too much NOS. There, yeah, the NOS. Not, night does backfire. Happens. Um, happens to the best. I'm going to have to change up the NOS jets and, uh, yeah, we'll go from there, you know?
because the belt snapped. Hey, hey, just testing these out. But yeah, man. Yeah, man. Sick. Sick. Got these massive twenty twos, blood. Massive. Also, I've noticed. Thanks to Dad. It's a leaky hood as well. The aisle. This, that's a wheelie bar. Uh, just to stop it from wheeling, just second contraction. Oh well, video's over today. Um, sorry, it wasn't a very good video. But we do have this gadget, which is a head gasket. We're going to put into a glanza tonight.